Hello, welcome to my room makeover. So my room has been my pride and joy for years now and not much has changed in the last few years in terms of the interior of my room because I haven't really lived in Melbourne long term for quite some time. So right now we have moved back into our house and this is the state of my room. I'm pretty much living out of a suitcase. Most of my furniture has been sold. So we are starting with pretty much a blank canvas. First thing in the new room is my bed. It's a brand new bed and it's a single size because my room is not really that big. And we have to assemble it because every single piece of furniture we bought when we redid our house this time pretty much came in a box and we had to assemble it ourselves and that took a lot of time energy and oh god a lot of negotiating and a lot of arguments between me and my mom but we absolutely love it we enjoy it and it gives us so much satisfaction and we didn't get a single bit of help from anyone else we did it all by ourselves the entire thing the entire house so this is going to be fun guys this is us trying to figure out the bed i've had the same bed since we moved into the house so basically since i was a teenager so i was very excited to get a new bed um, truth be told this isn't my dream bed but my dream bed did not come in the size that i wanted none of the dream beds that i had in mind were able to be made in that size and if they were then they would have required more time which i didn't have in hand so i had to settle with something that was neutral and simple so i could build my room and aesthetic in my room around it finally moved the bed into the room and now we're going to fix the bed frame and of course it is hard work but we are going to get it done for some people this might be easy but for me ugh, it's a nightmare brand new mattress is very exciting as well linen and pillows are in quilts are in and you'll see some of the furniture is in the room as well now we are about to hang my art which i made in all this rush i actually managed to make all the art that's hanging in the house currently this was one of the art i made as well and you'll see how i did it in a little bit um, my mom will not let me touch a wall with nail and hammer she would not trust me with it so she does that herself insists on getting on you know ladders and beds and furniture to do just this um, and i just support her and she's also very meticulous so she is actually factually better than me at this I do believe artwork and wall hangings help really elevate any space. It can make it look more spacious or make it look more cozy and put together, more styled. So I wanted the right artwork for this space and a lot of it was expensive and I knew I could make this so it added a personal touch as well. So I decided to do it myself and the process was really therapeutic guys. You'll see how it was done just now basically this was the art that was hanging in my room exactly in that spot before and i wanted to use that same canvas and repurpose it because you know that's what we do and um, basically it's textured art and it's done with like a um, grout mix and you'll see the process on any of the youtube videos that are online and a lot of tiktok videos also um guide you on how to do this which is where i learned to do it so basically it's something like this i didn't have the right tools at the time that i was making this one because this was the first art i made um after that i ended up buying like very professional feeling tools and that helped me get uh you know much better look in my opinion but there is no right or wrong look with this it's just basically whatever your creativity leads you to and everything looks good in a textured art so this was what i did which was um like an arch kind of design and i used a spoon to do it don't judge me but it came out so beautiful and i was very happy with it finally after three million years of my mom figuring out the exact position it is going up on the wall there she is leveling what's already leveled 
but I love this about her. I think there's so much for me to learn from this behavior. And also, I mean, come on, she's 65 plus and look at her just honestly. So my vanity also has a story behind it. It's a thrifted piece that I completely redid, repainted all of that, but that's for another time. Um, these are my artwork, which I printed out and framed myself got frames separately because the already printed framed artwork was crazy expensive this is me setting down my tiny little coffee slash side table i guess and everything is starting to come together and this is the final look you guys this is my room perfectly styled and ready to inhabit i guess I couldn't be more proud because it was completely made with love, if you know what I mean. It was my mom and I, you know, slaving over every single detail, whether it's shopping for the right pillow or the right, you know, bunch of flowers or the right tray to building things ourselves, to painting things ourselves. Even this room many, many years ago, maybe over a decade ago, was painted by us, by me and mom. Um, so it's just a lot of history and a lot of beautiful stories behind this space and behind every space in our house. Every space in our house is beautiful and I'll share that with you in due time. But um, yeah, this is it for now. This is the kind of room that I've always wanted. It represents me so well and it's cozy, comfortable, simple. You know, nothing major going on but just a livable beautiful aesthetic space i managed to add little details that are interesting because i think in a space you need to have a balance of basics as well as little interesting and personalized details if you see this little little um hand uh tray kind of thing this was gifted to me by one of my primary school friends from singapore that i met maybe after 25 30 years um and she gifted me this we met at the airport so like just i mean honestly the stories behind each piece are the things that are worth um enjoying and cherishing so this is it from another angle and doesn't the artwork look lovely so i personally believe that the tiny little touches are what makes a space and i've done that and it's very important to be aware of proportions as well when you're trying to style so in meditations and things when they say imagine your happy place or your most calm and peaceful place i envisioned something like this and i managed to recreate that image in my head this time for my room and of course you know from my teenage years the, the room and the space needed a facelift definitely so here it is and just more personal touches this picture of me as a teenager basically that was taken with my mom i thought it was really beautiful so i added that your home is a reflection of who you are and it can also inspire you i'm a really private person and i rarely share anything as personal as this but i hope it inspires you